Hello, welcome back to Battle Spot, real Battle Spot this time, actual proper Battle Spot. This is against Risachi, who have the team of Infernape, Gardevoir, Amoongus, Lander T, Tyranitar, and Aegislash. You can see two of them straight away. It's Intimidate, which my Kangaskhan doesn't like. So, and this one, <clears throat> I, uh... I recorded about a week and a half ago as this video goes up. It was basically just my practice for the upcoming Premier Challenge in Yeovil. My one match of practice that I had. Just to convince myself that I could still play the game after not playing it since Ashes. I'm going to deal with the attack drop though. And Mega Evolve. And fake out, although he does... I don't know whether he predicted that or what, but he uh, brings in the Age of Slash. Which, uh, yeah, turned out to be a pretty good move. <coughs> and my Suicune is nigh asleep. Which is not good for purposes of Tailwind and so on and so forth. I decide I'm still just gonna, I'm gonna live with this, <clears throat> live and die by the sword. I get very lucky with the crit there. Let's see how much would that have done. Ooh, he would have just survived that, you know, <clears throat> doing a sort of rough visual calculation with the tip of the Stilo from the 3DS. So I, that crit did help me a lot there. He must have been um, designed to, yeah, that that Amoongus must have been designed to survive double edge from Mega Kangaskhan because <clears throat> it was it was just survived and this is maximum maximum attack. So, <clears throat> however, he's now at minus two attack, <clears throat> which essentially means that he is half attack. Now, oh, unfortunately, I didn't I didn't <clears throat> anticipate that there was going to be a U-turn there, so I did switch my uh, Hydreigon straight into it. <clears throat> In comes... what was he? Bangiras? Something like that. Suikin wakes up, which is nice, but says Ice Beam's the wrong Pokémon. What have we got here? Shadow Ball? Yeah. On Suicune, I imagine, but he'll take this. Suicune's just... Tank Dog. So I suppose this team... My opponent's team... Is kind of a variant on Japan Sand, isn't it? He's got Tyranitar, Amoongus, Age Slash... Yeah, it is. It's just Infernape and Gardevoir that's different. He goes for King's Shield. Now I hope I predicted that, because that seems kind of obvious. Let's have a look. No, I did. Oh, yes I did. <laughs> so yeah, this Hydreigon's choice spec, so Earth Power seemed to be the most, um, <clears throat> the most useful one. Apart from against Landorus, obviously. <coughs> Luckily I don't flinch, and I get the Tailwind up, which helps me immensely now. Hydreigon benefits from that huge amount. Oh, and he just hangs on! I can't believe that. And sweet, even Suicune benefits from it. With with zero speed investment at all, it ends up quite fast under Tailwind. Yeah, you should never underestimate the, what a doubling of your speed can do. And we're going to see Landorus here again? Yes. Anticipating the Earth power. So, I mean, if I'm predicting this now, one would hope that I predicted it at the time. Let's have a look. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> And he has just kinged shield, did, so I knew I wasn't going to do it again. Unfortunately, he's behind that substitute, and the scold, there we go. Because I knew if he if he stayed in with Tyranitar, it would be super effective. If he didn't, it would still be super effective against what I presumed was going to be the Landorus. I should have Ice Beamed there, I, but I... Uh, you can never... I mean, it's all very well predicting these things, but you can never know what the opponent's going to do, can you? It's really... it's quite infuriating, in fact. <laughs> Suicune holds on, hangs on. We're only a third away, third away through the battle, guys. This is how how intense it is. Under little canopies and so on. Landris goes away. Is that Tyranitar again? It is. So did I scold again? It's King Shield from Major Slash. 
or a substitute? No, King Shield. I don't know, I might have gone for a sub there. Fake out that one. Hopefully it's a Scold and not an Ice Beam. It is, brilliant. Oh no, I went into that one! Oh, Christian, what are you doing? <laughs> I should have I should have scolded that slot. Because I would have knocked out whatever was there. Yeah, I just substituted with that Aegis Slash. Oh well. <laughs> now the crunch. Nice. People don't expect the crunch. When it comes to the crunch... <laughs> you know nothing of the crunch! <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the main advantage of using that move, is the jokes you can make. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch the Mighty Boosh. Just watch all of it. You know, you'll, you'll find the bit I'm talking about eventually. He does go for the substitute now, see that would have been a bit better earlier. It would have saved a lot of damage. Whereas now, look at him, he's nowhere. <laughs> In comes Andrus again, getting that Intimidate off. Speaking's attack must be <laughs> negative by now. <laughs> Here's the rock slide. Ooh, Kangasan just hangs on. <clears throat> He's double edge. There we go. He's going to knock himself out, but we'll get rid of that Landorus. Do 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 do. <laughs> ha! Hiya! <laughs> oh, nothing there. Okay, we're two thirds of the way through the battle. You're probably thinking, how on earth can this battle last that long? There's only two Pokemon left in the entire field. But now, I'm playing the mind games. I'm playing the mind games, guys. I'm thinking, he's going to be using King Shield at some point, isn't he? What, sh what do I do? What, how can I, how can I, so, so thought, right, so protect again, go for it. I get the double protect. I'm letting him heal up, but I'm fine, I know I can take him. <clears throat> I'm playing the mind games, so next turn he's gonna King Shield, I reckon. I can't remember what he did, but I reckon he's gonna King Shield now. Go for the Protect. There he is, King Shield, see? Told you. <laughs> but now it failed, which means that he can use it next turn. So I reckon he's gonna use King Shield again, so I'll Protect again. There we go. <laughs> Let me King Shield, it failed. So I reckon next turn, he's gonna say, right, let's do this. So I'm gonna attack him now. Knock off, there we go, sorted. <laughs> <clears throat> now I'm feeling a bit better about myself. He goes for the attack. That does a lot. One more of them, and I'm in for it. So I thought, right, I've, I've been so, um, here we go, check it out. <laughs> I've been so cautious so far, he thinks I'm cautious, now let's fucking go for it. <laughs> and I get him, I get the sucker. <laughs> and I got rid of his leftovers too, ha ha ha. So there we go, that was a fun game. And I thought, yeah, I can play this game still, that's useful. So I was a bit more, um, looking forward, a bit more confident about the uh, the upcoming Premier Challenge in Yeovil, which was actually yesterday as I record this, but uh, so what, it was Saturday the 26th. And this is why I'm going through this backlog of battle videos, because like, I've got to, I've got to upload these videos from the Premier Challenge, but we're doing. But I need to get rid of these other ones first. So that's what I'm doing now. So next time, um, we'll be in a different playlist, it'll be in that VGC playlist that I've got set up, but the next video that you see from me in this vein will be the Oval Premier Challenge. So, I will see you then. Bye!